Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna try to find the entrance to this dungeon. Without I don't know if you're dying. capable. Does not seem like you're capable. I'm plenty capable. Let's take a rock with us. Da, da, nah, da, just fuck da, off, pumpkin. Da, 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 da. Uh, there it is. No, this isn't it. Not for real. Oh, is this just like part this is, of it? This is your, this is your uh, teaser for the dungeon. It shows you the uh, the big chest and everything over yep. there. Yep. Yep. You can look at it and be like, "This is kind of the dungeon." This is a uh, idea of the dungeon. This is the this is the this the season. premise. Oh, okay. Okay. That works out just fine. Damn it! Just want to go through here. Thank you. You, you fucked it up. Oh yeah, bludgeon your enemies to death with the map. That'll be really helpful. You will be so. You were so good. Not bees. <laughs> Is that the entrance? Everything wants to kill you. It's true. A true thing you've just said. And everyone's having fun without you. And they want to kill you. Now you're in the dungeon. Nope, still not actually in the dungeon. What in the world is this bullshit? We'll hang out with your friend Skelly King over there. Skeleton Jackman, King of the Pumpkin Patch. Everyone hail to the Pumpkin King now. Yeah. We all have to hail. And scream, this is Halloween. Just scream it. Everybody make a scene. The scene. What? The scene! Why are you saying it? Make it. Make the scene. Okay, I said make a scene though, so don't make the scene. You'll be making the scene where the emo kids will hang out. <laughs> Alright, welcome back to another segment on this show that we like to call We Said Something Dumb and Have to Overdub. This is what I call it. This is the segment I call The Future Warriors. Ah, yes, yes. This welcome. is where we from the future come and grace you with our presence. In an entirely different year. Entirely different timeline. So here, the re and of course, the reason we're overdubbing here is, is pretty simple. We told yet another story that actually, unfortunately, had some real-world things make it to where the story is no longer a story we should be telling. That is uh, as simple as it is. Look at that hookshot movement. That was good. I'm so good at this game. You're the best. I've noticed that your, you, your swift ninja-like movements with the hookshot are just always expert-level, genius, amazing... I love them. If I had the big key, I could open it, idiot. Nope, no no big key for you. You gotta go do <laughs> this horrible fucking dungeon. This dungeon, the, we while, re, while reviewing this, actually analyzed the design of this dungeon. It's fucking incredible. Did you see that slick-ass bullshit I just did there? Later in the video, we're gonna mention this again, but I just hate that this is a, a dungeon that punishes you for not moving and punishes you for moving. So you don't have a happy medium. You're just going to pick which punishment Welcome you like to the letter. punishment corner. <laughs> this is where we shall <laughs> punish you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is an awful, awful dungeon. And I hate it. Yeah, it's not great. But, uh... I, I, again, I like the, the whole vibe. I like the swamp vibe thing, even though this isn't the swamp dungeon? Uh, this is... It's got a nice swamp vibe, though. Even Spoopy though there tree is a, dungeon? Even though there is a swamp... Is this the forest temple? Is this, 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 this is something. I, I think it's the farthest temple. Anyway, we're about to be back in the past. So ready? Here we go. We're going back to the past again. Bye, oh, guys. No, I love you. From the time stream. Ah! Got to deal with these gibdos, man. Is this supposed to be the spoopy dungeon for this game? Yep, it's our Halloween dungeon. Okay, well that did absolutely nothing to him. Let's <laughs> say is the lag real? Is that what this is? To try the to... yeah, what says you just try to fucking walk up to him and hammer him to death. We're gonna play a game of chess across this table, sir. Oh! Watch for the shadows of falling enemies, Link. Oh my god. Grab him! Gravio him. <laughs> you failed. Yeah. Not so much of a master of walls now, are you? Why are there so many? Oh, they never stop. Oh, this is the spooky dungeon for this game. 
I see the forest and shadow temples took some inspiration from this dungeon. Probably. There you go. There you go. That's how you do it. Yes. Is this the dungeon where you get a fire rod? Yes. I was about to say, because fire rod like insta kills those Gibdos, doesn't it? I believe so. I was about to say, your silence is deafening. Uh, I'm sorry, there's a lot happening. Yeah, this is a pretty concentration heavy dungeon. I'll just keep the audience at home. Oh, yeah, you keep them busy. So, oh, shit! Geez. Oh, no, it's not fair! I can't open the chest like this? Oh, man. Oh. So much. No, no, no! Oh, no! The animation from the... Oh, fucking hell. They're all back. Welcome back. I'm going this way. This dungeon looks incredibly discouraging. It is. <laughs> Don't worry. Well, good to know. What'd you get? A key. Oh. I was like, what did you get that the game thought was so hype? I'm still not at the actual proper entrance, but I need the fire rod before I can get to the proper entrance. Are you serious? Yes. To me, it looked like you were in an entrance. That is an entrance. That's the entrance to this first part. Okay, so where are you going? There's the actual entrance. Oh, I see it. All these horrible fucking skeletons. What are they dead? What dead thing made that? Dagrons. There, there's like, I mean, there are dragons in this universe, but like two. Yeah, we've seen uh, like <laughs> two of them. That's it. We one killed of them, them. Yeah, one of them lived in the sky, and one of them was Volvagia. I mean, that's like it. What is with the lag? It's too much for the SNES. Lag is real right now. Look at this. You know what else is real? L. L. I knew that was where you were going. No, that's not the one I wanted to hit. Okay, good, it got both of them. Yeah, there you go. Power some pop. Power some pop pop poop. <laughs> pop pop. <laughs> pop pop. Magnitude stands for magnetic attitude. I love magnitude. Oh, I can only pull it. That's how they keep you from fucking yourself into a corner with that thing. So there you go. So, come on. Oh, ravioli, ravioli. Give me the form, you ole. Tried to get him. You know, it ain't happening. Ooh, so close. Oh, no! Okay. <laughs> what? Game, that was bullshit. And you knew it, and that's why you should be punished. Because you're full of it. I think you're full of it. My head is spinning, but blow me while I laugh. Just I can't get words to do. Alright. Alright, you can go get the fire rod now. Yes. Everything becomes significantly less frightening when you have the fire rod. Don't go that way. I thought you were about to fuck up. I was like, you just opened up a path and you're not going to go that way? Grab yourself. Oh, that was some magic for the fire rod. Good. Excellent. Oops. And now everything comes hellish. So that uh, fire rod's how you open up the doors, I'm guessing. Yep. Like them, them wooden areas. That's how you open up them doors. Don't look at me with them eyes, with them big old eyes. Koji Kondo, I think, did the soundtrack for this, didn't he? No way. Well, I'm saying I I don't know if Koji Kondo was did like was at this point like if this is where he started doing collaborative soundtracks with other people for Zelda games. I think Koji Kondo was responsible for this soundtrack, wasn't he? I think so too. Yeah. So being that Koji Kondo, that this is proof to me that Koji Kondo loves marches. Like when it comes to like making, uh, like so, uh, like soundtracks for kind of like scary areas, he likes to use marches a lot. Marches and dirges. He doesn't really do a whole lot of marches. Uh, I mean, he does some, but he doesn't do a whole lot of uh, march type songs in uh, Ocarina. Which, if I'm not mistaken, is one of the last soundtracks he's he composed yeah, by himself. I think, I think so. 
he's uh, he's no. more of he's more of a music director these days than he is a shit. composer. Fuck off, guys! I got the fire rod. But that's Holy to my knowledge. Shit. Again, that's all to my knowledge. Probably. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We gotta that. preface everything with to my knowledge. We should probably burn some of those things. Oh. Okay. Well, I got a key and so many doors. Why not burn the skelly? The skelly doesn't do anything. Burn the skelly. Now one HKO those guys. That's not possible. Oh, uh, you can't you can't burn fire on them. I can, but I really need to conserve that because it uses magic. But I like fire rotting the gibdos. That did nothing. I was gonna say, please don't switch weapons. You're gonna have a big storm coming if you do. You'll just see. I see that you're not. That you're here now. Yes, indeed, he is. He followed you here. Thanks, thanks, buddy. Gonna. Oh, I thought he was just gonna land in front of the gibdo, thinking it was you. Yay, it's a key. Yay. It is a key. Take it with you. Go to the place. Do the thing. Doodly do. What the fuck? That was weird. <clears throat> Welcome back. That was weird. I was wrong. It's okay, John. Everyone's wrong sometimes. I'm, I hope these jokes are doing it for the members of the Lost fandom watching this. All two of you. Exactly. The re the remnants. We're still the here, others. guys. We're, we're, we're much like the others. We'll always be here. <laughs> You've been here a long time and you'll always be here. There's no shaking us now. God damn this fucking piece of shit. Hate this dungeon so this is fucking so bad. much. Like this is so bad. I feel very bad for you. Okay. Why would they make it to where those fucking things are there the whole time? Keep moving forever or you'll get wall mastered. Also, well, this is a dungeon that really sort of punishes you for moving around too much. By putting all these springy traps and shit. It's a dungeon that wants you to constantly move, but also would really rather you not. Eliminate Skelly. I can't eliminate Skelly. You can't commit Skull Genocide if you don't at least try to eliminate Skelly. Uh, I hate the red aggro ones. Okay, so it seems like you're free of Skelly in this room. I mean, free of a uh, Wallmaster in this room. Yeah, because that was before then they started appearing in the dungeon. Okay. Alright, so, did I miss anything back here? No. Alright, I guess I am free to progress to the actual dungeon now. Yes. Progress to the actual dungeon. Yes. Yes. Come on, no. No, don't do this to me. <laughs> Alright. I don't know what I'm doing. Or why I'm doing it. Go away. <laughs> Go away. Goodbye, P hat friend. Go away. Hello, P hat friend. Goodbye, P hat friend. Goodbye, Grandma. <laughs> Goodbye, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Ganondor. <laughs> yes, welcome to a segment of the show I like to call Put Goodbye on Anything. Put Goodbye Anywhere Glitch. It's my favorite glitch. I call it Goodbye Skip. Alrighty. Now you better set a skeleton on fire. Open a way scarier skeleton. Well, it's what? eyes open, by the way. What was that in life? I'm glad we don't ever have to know. What horror was that? Now you must step into its mouth. Was it the imprisoned? Maybe? Doesn't look like the imprisoned. Okay, I really need to save and quit, but I also really don't want to have to come back here. Mmm. But I have to, because I am very likely going to die in this dungeon. Uh, yep, yeah, no choice. 